Hello, welcome to Math with Townsend. This is Ms. Townsend. Today we're talking about the Grade 9 Academic Analytic Geometry Summative. This is question 1a. So the question says, for what values of k are the lines blah 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 and blah 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 parallel? So what does that mean? Well, it means somewhere in the universe of numbers is one or more numbers that we can substitute in for k that would make this line parallel to this line. And our job is to figure out what that number is that we can put in there. All right, so let's start with something familiar. We know what parallel means. If we're talking about two lines, we know that parallel means that they have the same slope. So I need to find the slope of both of my lines. So let's call this one line 1, and we'll call this one line 2, just so they have a name. And let's start with line 2, a little easier because it doesn't have that K in it. So line 2 says 2x plus y minus 7 equals 0, and I need the slope of that line. So I'm just going to rearrange it into slope-intercept form. There it is, that was pretty fast. So now I know that the slope of line 2 is negative 2, or if you want, negative 2 over 1. Good, so I found the slope of line 2. Here it is, so I don't lose it. Now let's go back and look at line number 1. Line 1 says 3kx minus 7y minus 10 equals 0. So what exactly does that k mean? Well, really, it's just a number. Remember back earlier when we were solving for equations, quite often we would use x. x would represent an unknown number. Well, that's exactly what k is doing here. It represents an unknown number. Why can't I use x? Well, because x and y kind of have jobs already. X represents the independent variable, and Y represents the dependent variable in a linear relationship. So you can't let X be the unknown number. X already is something. And that's why we just said K. K represents the unknown number this time. So that means I have to try to find the slope of this line. And I'm going to do it exactly the same way I found the slope of the other line. I just have to be careful with my algebra. So again, I'll write it again because I kind of messed it up. There's my line, and I want it in slope-intercept form. So I'm going to isolate the y term. So negative 7y gets to stay where it is, and I need to remove 3kx. So it becomes negative 3kx. I need to remove negative 10, so I have plus 10. Keep going, I need to isolate that y, so my next step will be divide everything by negative 7. And now cleaning this up, I have y equals 3k over 7x minus 10 over 7. So again, that k is just a number, so that's why I treated it like a number, 3 times k divided by 7. So now I have the slope of line 1. It's 3k over 7. And I'll put a box around it so I don't lose it. So, where are we? Aha! We were looking for parallel lines and that meant lines that have the same slope. One line has a slope of negative 2. The other line has a slope of 3k over 7. And if they're the same slope, then I can say that the slope of line 1 is equal to the slope of line 2. And all you have right here, right here, is a simple one variable equation where you can solve for k very easily. And that's all we're going to do. So isolating k, my first step is to get rid of divide by 7. To get rid of divide by 7, 
I'm going to multiply both sides by 7. Oh, that's interesting. Let's try that again. I'm going to multiply both sides by 7. Negative 2 times 7 is negative 14. Then I need to divide both sides by 3. So I get k equals negative 14 over 3. And I found the one value for k that if I substituted it into this equation, make sure I get it right, that if I put k in here, so if I substituted negative 14 over 3 into this equation, then this line would be parallel to the other line. All done.